Consider the following probability distribution. And there's a whole bunch of questions we need to answer based off this probability distribution that x could equal 1, 2, 4, and 10 with the given probabilities. Now the first question asks us to find mu, um, which they say also equals our expected value e of x, but that also equals in formula terms the sum of x times the probability of x. Well, the sum of x's times the probability of x's, kind of long, but it would be 1 times 0.2 plus 2 times 0.4 plus 4 times 0.2 plus 10 times 0.2. With some quick calculations, we find that to be equal to 3.8, and that would be our mu. Now we're asked to find sigma squared, which would be our variance, and that is the expected value of x minus mu squared. Again, going one step forward, that's the sum of x minus mu squared times the probability of that x. Well, writing this out, that would be 1 minus 3.8 squared times 0.2 plus 2 minus 3.8 squared times 0.4 plus 4 minus 3.8 squared times 0.2 and finally add to that 10 minus 3.8 squared times 0.2. Totaling this up, we get a variance to be about 10.2. And then C is just one step further, finding sigma, which is our standard deviation. Well, that is the square root of sigma squared, or the square root of 10.56. In this case, it's about 3.2496. We can go out four decimal places. Now there is a part D that says interpret the value you obtain from mu, and that's kind of difficult because uh, we don't really have a story, we don't really have uh, an understanding of where this data is from. So continuing on, let's look at just E and F here. In this case, can the random variable X ever assume the value of mu? And the answer is no, because our X's can only equal 1, 2, 4, and 10 and our mu is 3.8, which is not part of our probability distribution. But in general, can a random variable ever assume a variable equal to its expected value? Sure. I'll give you a real quick example. Let's say our x's are 1, 2, and 3, and each probability was equal, a third. If you calculate this out, you find your mu to be 2. Well, 2 is a variable in our x's, so yes, it could happen.